Hello everybody, this is Zerda with Zerda MTG and I'm back at it again today with some more Legacy gameplay. So uh, today I've decided I'm going to be playing a little bit of a modified version of uh, my typical Omni Omnitel build. I've opted for the main deck Veil vale of Summer as I should have been playing for a while now. Um, I've dropped the Arkham's Astrolabe, I'll see how that affects the mana. Um, still playing 3 Ice Fang, I moved the Sylvan Library back into the main. I'm playing another copy of Impulse, and uh, I'm debating on if I want another Preordain. Basically just trying to be a little bit more all-in on the combo, um, a little bit less fair and uh, slow. I'm gonna take this game before it disappears. Uh, absolutely, I would like to play first. Let's see. Show and tell which is going to be pretty important. Ice Fang and Veil. So if they have interaction, I have interaction for it. If they have a faster clock, I have something for that. And I just need to draw one of six cards. Uh, cantrips will help, and I have one at least in hand, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this, although it is risky. You don't flooded strands, so they're not suspicious. Ooh, an Aether Vile deck. Alright. I don't believe that uh, this Veil of Summer is going to do us very much good anymore. So if I draw a Brainstorm, it will be one of the cards getting shuffled away. I'm going to wait to see what I want with this Ponder. I could Ponder now. And Pondering now does give me a chance to just draw something... Um, Something to put into play with show until next turn. But I think I'm going to risk it and go for the uh, fail state play if I whiff on said ponder and uh, just try and drop the ice fang this turn. That one can't choose a land, right? Non land card. Okay. Yep. That's a very fair name. Of course, I'm pretty sure we don't have anything in our deck they could name that we actually care about. Find another Snow Island. Drop the Ice Fang to start cantripping. Spell Pierce. Would have liked to have had that on turn one, alas. Let's lead on Fetchland. Ponder, because I imagine I'm going to need to shuffle. I'll take the Ponder. It seems better than a random card. Shuffle, grab an island. Cast Preordain. Hmm. Cunning Wish is important at some point, but I'm pretty sure this game isn't going to be that point. I could grab Return to Nature, but that's pretty slow, and uh, honestly, I'm pretty sure not where I want to be. Without the Astrolabes, I guess I can't release the Ants as a control measure, something to keep in mind. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to want anything out of my board, uh, except for the kill turn. And they're probably going to have a Thalia by then. Alright, I'll take this because I think it's part of the kill, but I'm not exactly happy about it. Mother of Runes here then? Or are they just doing a, a thing where they force me to play around it every time? Unfortunately, they actually have the Mother of Runes. Richard in port. And a Swords to Plowshares. Nothing I can do about that one.
I also plan to just let them port down anything. I'm not going to brainstorm and upkeep. Especially not if they go after my forest. So brainstorm here. Alright, excellent. That's another thing I could use at some point if I draw an omniscience. Um, don't need the veil. Don't need the besaju. So, misty. Crack misty. Alright. Find another island. And let's ponder. Oh, there we go. Top, top, what we actually want. No shuffle. And next turn, we should be able to drop an Emrakul. Stoneforge, that's fine. Doesn't stop our uh, end game here at all. Sort of fire and ice, eh? Wasteland. Very glad we have all basics. We even get to show and tell through a uh, Thalia here. Okay. Drop. Show and tell. Drop an omniscience. If they drop anything that matters, we get to Cunning Wish. We'll see if they just scoop to the Emrakul. And they do. So let's begin that sideboarding process here. This is going to be a slower, fair matchup where Veil vale of Summer does absolutely nothing. Hmm. So I'm going to put in. A Sylvan Library and Return to Nature because I don't imagine I'm going to wish for it but it'd be nice to have a removal spell. Uh, Shifting Ceratops seems kind of weak in this matchup. Um, then again, maybe having a blocker is good but it does make me expose my lands a little bit more now that I'm not playing the Astrolabes. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with Return to Nature. Because I don't imagine myself wishing for it, it seems too slow in this matchup, but a answer to an Aether Vial early could be fairly good. I'm going to try and stay off of the green mana plays, though, to keep myself less vulnerable to Wasteland. Alright, I like this hand, and not just because it uh, gives me a turn to answer to Aether Vial. Mother of Runes, very good play. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and play out my fetch. I'm going to need another blue source. I don't want to expose my first land drop. So I want another fetch anyway. Hmm. I think I'm fine with this, especially with Brainstorm. And I do just want to drop an Ice Fang. No shuffle. There's Thalia. It does mess with my intended plan of brainstorm this turn. Huh. I'd have liked to have uh, been able to brainstorm this turn but I don't want to draw that land next turn. Maybe should have considered that when I kept, but 
alas. I definitely don't want to draw this turn. I'm gonna wait. I'm not just gonna block Athalia that um, this early in the game and throw a wang to Quattle. I'm gonna make them actually start using their Mother of Runes later. Alright, now they're committed. Oh, cred, I forgot. My only forest is in my hand. Well, so be it. I expose myself to Wasteland. Despite playing very specifically not to, uh... That's right. Hey! Good luck there. Now the brainstorm gets to be perfect and shuffle away some of these other lands. Let's see. I don't want the trop, and I could see myself wanting the other land actually. Hmm. Let's get rid of the. I'm gonna want that return to nature. Ponder, maybe? No, Spell Pierce, if I'm going to be completely honest with myself. Then I deploy the Misty. And I pass the turn. Oof. Two ports and a Thalia out. Alright, this is getting rough. Okay. And it gets equipped to this turn too. Yikes. Guess the Ice Fang never gets to block if they uh, just shoot it here. Suppose they might not. Nope, they do. Oh, didn't stop on my upkeep. Alright. Alright, um, so let's see here. Play my land out. Do I get a turn of reprieve? Not really. Kind of needed. Even if I draw soul land here, it's not going to be good enough. I kill that. Yeah, I think that's my only play, even if it's uh, inefficient. Otherwise, I'm on a two, two turn clock. And they just get to uh, draw more hate cards. I'm already really far behind. I don't need to uh, be on the faster clock. My draw step's going to have to be my biggest weapon here against an active Thalia. Slow to green. They'll do it again. I don't mind. Use the rest of my mana on this impulse. I guess the most relevant is the Ice Fang, although none of them really are. Actually, is it the land? Hmm, because if I take the land, they tap down two and then a soul land. I don't think anything here is good enough, but... I suppose... 
I guess Ice Fang drawing me into a soul land. Buying me a turn. I think I'm gonna need to get lucky. And I'm between do I need to get lucky on the trop when they have me on a two turn clock if they just swing. Or a three turn with Ice Fang if I go land into Soul Land. I'm gonna play to get lucky again. Cause I don't think taking the land to drop it this turn and then draw soul land and then draw the next thing is a very good play when I'm just dead if my opponent swings all out. Especially not if they have a wasteland to uh, make that play completely worthless anyway. Yep. I'm gonna have to do this in my upkeep. And it has to be... I don't even know what it could be now. Maybe it needs to be another Ice Fang to walk again, but then I think I'm still dead. We'll find out soon, as uh, soon as we get our turn at least. We only really had one turn there where there was a window, um, and we just didn't have it. Opponents played a very tight game with death and taxes, and once the, you uh, actually get to turn three, your, you know, reasonable matchup against them uh, starts to shift away from being so reasonable. Hmm. Ponder, draw, land needs to be a green source or blue source if I tap correctly. It's not good, but I think it's what I've got to do. Okay, sad because I don't get to keep that soul land. And I really want to. Alright, I have exactly one more turn. As long as nothing goes horribly, horribly wrong. Find an island. Ah, snow covered. Drop ice fang. And I think that does it. There's now no way I can uh, draw something that gets me out of this because I block the Thalia. I dropped to one, and that needed to be a soul land, I believe. Up. Oh. And now even less so. Okay, I don't think I want to change anything. I um, still don't think I want to bring in the shiftings. Um, don't think I want Trick Binder Echoing Truth. Echoing Truth is way more useful on the board than a Return to Nature. Can actually get a Thali off the board. So, yeah, I'll play it like this. I would absolutely like to play first, yes. This hand is asking a lot, so I'm going to mull it. This hand is, uh, asking even more. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep. I need to get very lucky. Got a Cunning Wish already. I have a... I don't have a blue source, and if I find one, I have better things to do. So, here's what I'm keeping. Because, yeah, in this hand, if I just uh, find a blue source, 
do I risk getting completely blown out so that I could turn to them and uh, beat the Thalia? I have Force of Will in case of Thalia. If I draw a blue card, and I'd rather not expose um, a third of my combo if I don't need to. Mother of Runes is fine as long as it doesn't get followed by Thalia. Okay. There's something to pitch to force. No port, no wasteland. Okay. It's very bad for me. That absolutely gets countered. Alright. I need an island right now. Deploy a city of traders. It'll 100% get tapped, but so be it. That is kind of its role, is to make my opponent afraid. Stop them from doing exactly that. Alright. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Um... Although you see how this wasn't actually that far away from being able to win. No port island there. Now the opponent doesn't have to do anything except tap down my lands. And probably won't do anything besides tap down my lands. Okay, land please. Excellent. Let their vial tick up. They still aren't presenting too much of a clock. Gonna need at least four mana, and I'd prefer to have five now. Or an Emrakul in hand. And even then, I'd, now that they're grabbing a Flicker Wisp, be much more comfortable with, uh, you know, having a land in play. Alright, Flicker Wisp. Read the wording on City of Traders. No, it's whenever I play a land, not whenever a land comes into play under my control. Alright, so as much as I'd like to deploy a spell here, doing so gets me wastelanded. Really like to grab an island so that I could uh, ponder though. Now, well, all I need is lands. And actually doing that would uh, set me back on lands, not forward. Let's so not let them just wasteland me. Need one more basic. Two more basics? Yeah, I think two. Right, this is looking pretty dire. This wasn't a bad five, but uh, the way the rest of it turned out isn't so great. I'm gonna target the recruiter Find something else. Another flicker wisp, maybe? No, did they find another recruiter with recruiter? No. Alright. So now they've got quite the clock. I 
Meaning, I guess I've got to hope they just make some really poor plays. So I'm a two drop away from losing. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm now at the point where there's absolutely nothing I can do no matter what they do. As long as they attack. Alright. Down to three. Got a flicker wisp they're going to use on the end step. And yeah, they got it. Give them the GG's. So let's see. Nope. Oh, I was not finding that land anywhere near in time. Especially because I'd have needed a fifth to be able to even cast Cunning Wish. And then a sixth to be able to do anything beyond that. Ideally, I'd have liked that hand to play out um, with Force Thalia, draw the land, play the land. They don't have port, play lands, show and tell Omniscience go off. But it's not how it turned out. So just uh, letting you understand the reasoning I kept it. In any case, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow, and I'll see you all next time.